DraftKings, guys, right now. They got Adesanya, three to one favorite over Duplicis. But hold that thought, because guess what other line they put out today? They have Tyson Fury, five to one favorite over Engano. That's a surprise to me. Five to one. That's, I mean, that sounds like a 20 cent re uh, return on your money. Like an obvious 20% return. There will be $100,000 bets coming in quickly on Tyson Fury. I just look at those numbers. It's a little bit of a surprise to me. We can all admit that Duplessis can fight. I mean, three to one and five to one, I. That's kind of close, right? Fury and. What's his name? This is a joke. This isn't real. You have one guy that's great at it, and you have one guy that's never done it. This is a joke. This is obvious. And it's not that much of a difference than Izzy versus Duplessis. How did we get there? I mean, it just strikes me as a surprise. Duplessis has at a minimum proven that he is the next best thing. That is what number one contender is supposed to mean. It's supposed to mean that you've proven you are the best of the field. And there's only one question that remains, which is, can you now go up a category and take on the man? That's what it's supposed to mean. We don't always get there. We're there now. Duplices has proven he's the best of the rest. And he's a, still a three-to-one dog, really. What do we do if Adesanya gets through Duplices? Well, what do we do with the next guy? Next guy starts off as an eight to one dog. I mean, who would be the next best thing to Duplessis? Think about it from that perspective. Who would it be? Correct answer, Robert Whitaker. Okay, great. If Whitaker was to fight Adesanya, which he's already done twice, so we have a very good idea of how that's going to go, where would DraftKings put the odds? And they sure as hell wouldn't put it three to one or greater. No chance. If it was Whitaker versus Izzy, it would be two to one at DraftKings. Oh, by the way, that fight has happened twice. It was two to one at DraftKings. You now have a guy who's proven to be better, to be closer, can give a better performance. And you got, you stretch the odds the opposite direction. That is very interesting to me. I just don't think it's going to hold. Th that's my only point here. I don't think that's going to hold. And I love to follow the line. I love where it starts. As the training camp goes, as the hype builds, the fight gets closer. When that thing starts swinging, it's interesting. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it just holds steady. You get a line that you think, well, that's crazy. That's easy money. And, and it is. A real fun one was uh, McGregor versus Floyd. I mean, that thing was all over the board. It got silly at one point. I mean, Connor was, was a 14 to 1 dog. 14 to 1, and money was still coming in on Floyd, but it closed at one point to where he was a 7 to 1. Guy went down about a million dollars on Floyd. It was an obvious match. Your return's going to get smaller, so you got to start wor working out risk, and does this even make sense? Then you got boxing, which is corrupt. They were corrupt that night. The scores that were officially turned in for Floyd versus Connor should have had people fired. Okay, they, you're right. Bob Bennett was in charge, believe me. There it is. They did nothing. You got you to gotta consider that, right? All of those things go into a better's mind. But, but how do we have a joke? We have a joke match. We have a, it's, it's a joke. It's just to be silly. We're being funny. Funny works. You make money. Comedies make money all the time. This is a joke. Fury versus this Francis. It's a joke. They're, they're, we're kidding. We're kidding around. We're, the, we're, this is a circus. That's five to one. DDP and Adesanya couldn't be more serious than their three to one. I mean, just how good do they think Izzy is? If you take the Plissies out of the situation, the Plissies has proven he's the next best thing. If you took him out of the equation and put somebody else in, anybody you want, they would then have to be, just by logic, more than three to one. Does that sound right to you? You think that sounds right? It's, a, it's an interesting conversation because this fight is going to so many different directions and it is going there so fast. You can feel the power of this fight. You can feel the magnitude. And we don't even have a bout agreement yet. We don't even have an announcement yet. 
I just think it's a, it's an interesting one, and people love to say the styles make fights. I I don't know who, I don't know why those people say that, and I just don't like. There's things that I don't know how expressions have existed in our sport. Well, you know, it's styles that makes fights, huh? I don't know what that means. I I literally don't know what that means. I guys make a big deal about why this guy's a southpaw. This guy's orthodox. I fought 51 men for five world championships. I don't have the foggiest idea why I would even care what leg my opponent was leading. Do you know that that's what it means? I'm a southpaw. He's an orthodox. You use these fancy words and you confuse people. It's what leg he leads. Does he lead with his left leg or does he lead with his leg? Who cares? What difference does it make? Who gives a... It's one of these things. But is that the deal here? Is that why Duplicis have given no chance? Three to one is you're given no chance. Three to one is ridiculous. I mean, but that, that's a sign. That, that's showing, hey, we don't have a competition here. We do not believe we have a competition. You guys go on, do it, and this is what sports says, and they made this, but we don't have a competition here. That's what three to one represents. It is very big. I would have a very hard time going through history and showing you three to one. Let me, let me give you an example. Charles Oliveira had no chance against Islam. None. Zero. Zero. It, it was one of the great mismatches in title fight history. It needed to be made. It was the right match to make. It was one of the great mismatches. It was one of the most glaringly obvious fights before it started in history. It was three to one. To put it in perspective for you, okay? Islam then, after he showed his greatness, was not going to have any trouble with a 45-pound rugby player named Volkanovsky. None. He was going to walk through him. That was commonly believed. It was commonly believed to the point that they did not want to even make the match, and then they made the match. Just, just do it. it was, that was the attitude. That went off at 3-1. to one. You're telling me that DDP, who just stopped, not just he beat, he just stopped the clearest number one contender in this sport, any division, the clearest, best of the rest in any division, got beaten on his feet. He got beaten on the ground. He got dominated on the ground. He got beaten on his feet, dominated on the ground, outconditioned, and stopped. And the guy that did that to him has no chance. Three to one's a big spread. I, I'm bringing this to your attention. It's a big spread. Right alongside it, one hour after that was posted, within the hour of that being posted, Fury and Francis, which is a joke. It's a, they're, they're kidding. They're kidding. It's only five to one. Just want to put this in perspective for you. Do you see it that way? Am I missing it? Is this not the knockdown drag out that I think it is? Is this, do we not have a war approaching? Do I have it wrong? Is Whitaker not as great as I believe? He, what, what part of this, what part of this am I missing that these odds are currently three to one? 